we're going around uh, going around Europe here. From Finland. Hi, uh, hello there, William F. Burr. I'm a 22-year-old guy from fin- Finland, and I've waited a long time for you to do a show here. So I'm very excited to hear you're coming to Helsinki in December. Unfortunately, because of my studies, I'm doing a practical tr- I'm doing a practical training in Africa for three months. So I'm going to miss the show. I hope I will one day have the money to come see your show in the U.S. So I'm going to Ghana in a group of four students, and I'm the only guy in the group. I'll be in the same house and going to the same workplace with the, these three ladies for three months. We all know each other quite well, but I'm mostly used to hanging with guys. So if you could give me some advice or tips on how to mentally prepare for these three months, it would be greatly appreciated. Are there some topics or actions I should make sure to avoid? P.S. Love the podcast uh, and all that other stuff. I hope to see you more in TV. Ah, that's very nice of you. What a nice email. Um, are there some topics? Listen, dude, the amount of things I've fucked up with women, all I can tell you is what not to do. Um, all right, this is what I would do if I was you. The first thing you got to do is if you're a type A male on any level, you got to tone that shit down. As, oh, if you're angry. All anger does is scare women. Okay? Or makes them not want to be around you. Or it makes women who have daddy issues. A, 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 you know, it's like a moth to a fucking light. Except the moth reaches in, grabs your heart, pulls it out of your chest, and throws it down the stairs. Um, if you're going to live with these three women... All right, this is what you could do. All right, are you trying to fuck these women or are you just trying to get along with them? All right, first things first, uh, make sure you're really neat. Granted, you know, women in the bathroom are some of the messiest fuckers on the planet. But uh, I would do that. I would come with slumber party energy and just fucking give in to their fucking conversations. Okay, and that right there is where you establish cred- credibility. You're not angry. You keep your part of the bathroom clean, and you come with, oh, my God, you guys. You, you fucking give in to that fucking energy. Late at night when they want to snack and they're fucking jam jams, you join them. All right? And you never try to fuck any of them. Then what you do is you talk to them about how you're having problems meeting women in Ghana. And you need advice. And then they'll become a fucking wingman for you. And you'll be crushing fucking Ghananese fucking ass, whatever the hell you want to call it, right and left when you're out there. And they'll actually help you do it. That's, that's, that would be my game plan. But the last thing you should do is try to hook up with any one of them, unless it's the last weekend. And the last weekend comes around, all bets are off. You get in there and you fuck them all. <laughs> Somewhere in there is probably some information that you could use. If anybody has any suggestions on what this guy should be doing, my my uh, my trip isn't until December. If anybody else has studied abroad with three broads and has better advice, um, for the love of God, let me know, and I'll pass it on to this this uh, this, uh, this 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 fine young gentleman. 